Hey guys, what's going on? Christian Hanna Horror here today. We're back with another horror Blu-rays I want you to own, and I'm calling this one the Hidden Gem episode. Now, obviously, this is going to be a fairly subjective thing, but these are some movies that certainly aren't... They never swept the box office. They never got, I guess what you would call, collector's edition. Uh, so these are movies... A lot of these were movies I saw, quite frankly, at the... I call it the heyday, the, or how about this? I call it the Tubi era of Netflix. So what that means is basically right when Netflix came out, that was where I saw Rumpelstiltskin for the first time. Uh, that's where I saw uh, Teeth for the first time. That's where I saw The Human Centipede for the first time. A lot of great, cool movies, horror films that, you know, they were on Netflix. Netflix was like the blockbuster of the day for streaming in terms of like great horror they had it all so a lot of these movies were movies i saw during that time now they have blu-ray releases and they're you know rewatch worthy so we're gonna go ahead and get started i will be doing the giveaway on my instagram page soon coming up this week from the previous video so if you saw what video i was talking about i'm gonna put your name in a hat and we're gonna pick a winner so be tuned be sure be sure you're following on instagram for that thank you for everybody who uh did an entry Coming up at number five is a movie called Last Shift. Now, this is from Magnet. Now, if you ever see that logo, Magnet, you're in for a, a treat. Last Shift is a great, spooky horror film. Uh, this was one that I saw on Netflix late at night, and this is the best way to watch Last Shift. Lights out, pitch black, late at night, blanket, the whole night, the whole nine yards. This is a creepy, spooky film. This police officer, she's starting her new job, and she has to, she has to watch this old abandoned police, you know, center. They they built a new one, and she this is the last shift for this old police station, and she has to be there all alone. And all of a sudden, spirits and people start coming out after. Her. It's a good movie. Last shift is a really cool movie. Um, I think somebody actually mentioned this on a previous episode or a previous video I did, and I was so glad they did it, and it really inspired this episode. So, Last Shift, this is a great flick. This is awesome. I'll put Amazon affiliate links on the pinned comment if you want to grab any of these. Great movie, Last Shift. I love that one, too. Next is a movie I completely blind bought, and it was probably one of the best blind buys I've ever done. This is from Magnet, too. This is a movie called... Alone. Now, Alone is very spooky, very good. Uh, what's one of your biggest fears? Tell me. I'll tell you one of mine. When I'm all alone and I feel like somebody's watching me. I feel like somebody's stalking me and I can't escape the feeling. Well, this is a movie about a woman who's starting her new life. She's moving away. She's traveling. And while she's on her travel, she keeps seeing this guy. Keeps driving next to her pulling in parking lots next to her, and every time she thinks she's rid of him and she takes off, he shows right back up. This is a spooky good movie. This is a great movie. Alone is, uh, again, that's Magnet too. This one's awesome. I think that this film won some kind of, uh, you know, awards at film festivals and whatnot. XYZ Films put up by uh, Magnet as well. This is a home run. This is probably the best movie out of the bunch that I'm showing you. And I'm, I'll, I'll go ahead and say that right now. This is a very good movie, Alone. Don't sleep on Alone. It's very good. Next is a movie that I saw on Netflix years ago. And I don't want to spoil too much about it because it's actually a... I mean, it really is a good movie. It's called Amusement. Now, you see that clown on the cover? Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, you know, that's a really creepy clown, but it's too bad. You know how movies do. They'll have stuff like that on the cover, and they don't, that's not in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's in there. Let me just read you the synopsis on the back. They're longtime friends on separate life paths, but they share a horrific destination when a seemingly innocent incident from their old school days comes back to terrify them. Something or someone wants payback. Warped vengeance. Mind games vengeance. Taunting, shredding, slashing, vengeance. Inside a stone-walled chamber of prison cells and mechanisms of doom, the three women and other victims face a fierce fight to survive. Who lives? Who dies? It's all for someone's amusement. From screenwriter Jake Wade Wall, The Hitcher, and director John Simpson, Freeze Frame, comes a new film foray into horror. Turn down the lights, turn up the fear. 
that's all I want to say. I just want to say this movie's really good. It's really, really good. I mean, I saw this on Netflix, you know, scrolling through and you look at images and what to click. This stuck out big time to me. And I was like, man, that is just terrifying. Look at that thing. Uh, great movie. One of the most underrated clowns in horror, if you ask me. So Amusement Guys, definitely give this a watch. Give this a pick up. It's a great film. Amusement. Big fan of it. Uh, next is a movie called Gags the Clown. Now, uh, probably about half a year ago, maybe a year and half a year and some change, I reviewed a movie called Behind the Sightings. Now, I was looking forward to that film for a long time. If you watch that review, I didn't give it a positive review. I, I was really excited for it. People were dying to know my thoughts on the film, and I was honest. I thought it was just really bad. Uh, this is a better clown found footage movie. It's called Gags the Clown. Now, this is basically this clown that's showing up. It's kind of like the same thing in a sense. You know, you've got those clowns, the great clown pandemic that happened some, some time ago. Uh, everybody was talking about it. Uh, the, that, that's where these movies were inspired from. Gags the Clown is, is the better of the two, in my opinion. Gags the Clown is this creepy, creepy clown that starts showing up in the town. And nobody knows who he is, what he wants, and people are dying. Uh, but this is a much, much more entertaining found footage clown movie. So if you're going to get one, if you've heard about Behind the Sightings, and you maybe were straight away from it, this is this is a good one. Gags the Clown. Uh, I got all these films on Amazon, by the way, so I'll have affiliate links down below. And last but certainly not least, one of my favorite movies, Hobo with a Shotgun. Uh, this is a horror movie it's like one of those movies i've always I've, I've tried to use this expression hobo with the shotgun is one of those movies that the horror fans adopt it's over the top gore the way horror fans like it's like that revenge type of horror movie uh it's really good hobo with the shotgun is one of the most if you're a fan of a movie like street trash which i love this was right up your alley this would be so right up your alley uh, hobo with the shotgun i think you'd I think you'd love this film, quite frankly. So uh, I, I give this film a ton of praise. I think it's really good. I think it's really entertaining. Uh, Hobo the Shotgun is money. Uh, so, so good. And Rutger Hauer. Uh, did I not mention that? How could I not mention that? Rutger Hauer, The Hitcher. Uh, this is probably one of his best movies, if I'm being honest. I think I like Hobo the Shotgun more than The Hitcher. I mean, I'm just saying. Much more entertaining to me, Hobo the Shotgun. It is over the top great. So that's probably the the least of the hidden gems. That movie has a pretty big fan base. But I wanted to do an episode where we focus on movies rather than label. So these are five, in my opinion, hidden gems. We'll go through them again. Uh, Hobo with the Shotgun. Gags the Clown. Amusement. One of my favorites. Alone. Just a... Man, That's a this is a damn good movie. And uh, The Last Shift awesome movie so i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of episode going over you know movies and really focusing on titles and movies that i think deserve your attention rather than you know this is from scream factory this is from arrow this is from you know uh that kind of thing not that there's anything wrong with that but you you see what i'm saying so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this episode trying to trying to spice it up trying to spice up everybody's life a little bit so to speak uh these are all really cool movies i really hope you check them out so thank you for watching this video if you're a fan of any of these i'd love for you to tell me down below or if you have any other suggestions for hidden gems please i'd love to do another episode that's full of these kinds of movies so love you guys we'll see you next time <laughs>